Okay, in this tutorial we're just going to tie up some loose ends from the previous tutorial where we're moving the camera around the track using the evaluation time and with the keyframe set here. There's that keyframe set starting at frame 0 in that one. But notice they're not quite like conventional keyframes because I can't come in and actually delete that keyframe. If you try with the toolbar and delete the keyframe, it won't go away. You know, you'd have to delete the channel in order to get rid of it. So I say delete the channel. So it's not quite the same as a regular keyframe, but it does it works for what we want to do. Now, and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this camera. Let me move this down here. I'm going to look at it from above in ortho mode, and I'll just kind of wing this. I'll move the camera so it's close to the put it right pretty much right there, and then I'm going to look at it from the side as well. I'm going to set it there so it's sitting on the track. Now notice my camera is pointing down below the scene. So if I come in here and look at that, but maybe I want it to look along the track. Well, we'll do two things. One, for the first thing, we'll move it, we'll look along the track. And if you're having trouble doing that, I'll look at it from ortho above again. And what you can do is with the camera select, you can press Alt R and that that clears any rotations. And so I'm going to select local axis. Now I don't see the Z, well, I see X. So I'm going to rotate it on X. So I'm going to press R, X, X, and then type 90 directly before I left click. And it moved it there. And then Y must be pointing up, local Y must be pointing up. So I'm going to press R, Y, Y, 9, 0. And now it's pointing this way. And since it's pointing directly that way, it's tangent to the curve at that location. So now when I press Alt A, it still won't start until frame 20, but it stays tangent to the curve like that. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And then the next way is, what we're going to do is, we'll focus on an object. Maybe we'll move this object over here, and we can also grab this and shift, select that, and press Control T, and we're going to track it. So now it's going to track looking at the object while it starts at frame 20 on here and moves around the circle. Let's see, we'll start back here. So it's not moving yet. There it goes. See, it's pointing at the object the whole time. We can verify that over here. We'll get a camera, camera view. And there it is the whole time like that. All right. So that kind of gives you, you know, a little more control, as, at least as far as when to start the animation. And you'll have to really work on those evaluation times within here to kind of adjust it. I mean, if you ha had 100 frames and you started your evaluation time at 0 and 100 for your keyframes, it would be exactly, you know, one frame at a time. But when you shorten this distance up, it's running faster. So that's just, you'll have to experiment to get an idea of what that's all about. All right? All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.